Hi everyone and welcome to this new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see a solution which is named PHP List. So for the one who knows a little bit emailing solutions, uh, you probably know MailChimp, of course, maybe MailJet. Uh, PHP List is actually the alternative to all those solutions as a free software. So let's see now how we can install PHP List on our own local server. Okay, so uh, the first thing that you need to do is, of course, to just type in a search engine PHP list, and you will see that two websites which just came out. Uh, phplist.com is kind of uh, the professional version of um, the PHP uh, list software. The one that you are interested in is the one that you can find at phplist.org. So to make it simple, phplist.com is uh, for, let's say, the professional services and phplist.org is the one of uh, the software. Okay, then once you are there, you need to click here on download and once you click on download, you will get uh, all the information that you need in order to install PHP list. So what you are interested in here is to know the system requirements. So actually they are pretty standard. So if you already succeed in installing solutions such as um, a WordPress, for example, or Matomo or any other solution like this, you will probably already have all those requirements on your computer, such as MySQL, such as Apache and, and PHP. So in my case, I already have those three components installed. If you don't have them, of course, you need to install them. If not, it's not going to work. And then once you have those uh, components installed, what you can do is just click on PHP list user manual and you will get all the process. So that's the one that we are going through in order to install PHP list. So uh, first, as I said, you need to know the system requirement and then you need to unzip PHP list and you need to um, extract it where uh, you are uh, gonna install it. So in my case, I need to download it. So I'm just gonna go over here in download and here I'm gonna grab the given file. So copy link location. In my case, I'm taking uh, the dot uh, zip file. Okay. And then you need to go over here and you need to go for CD slash so sorry for that. Uh, so you need to go to cd slash var slash and then w html. So typically that's the location for uh, your Apache file that you would like to see public. And in my case, I need now to download the solution. So I'm just going to do like a sudo wget and then just to download the software. So here I enter my password and it just start. Okay, so do, do, do. It's just taking a bit of time in order to download it. And once it's download, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip it and I'm going to move to the next step. So next step is over here. OK, so I download and then I unzip it. Then I upload it to my uh, server. So in my case, I'm as I'm unzipping it within my server already, I don't need this step. And here, this is the step that I missed at the beginning when I install it. Um, you need to change, or at least you need to move a folder, which is going to be uh, from the one that you unzip, and you're going to need to move it up to the location where you want to install your PHP list. Okay, so great. So now it's installed, so I mean, it's downloaded. So now I'm just going to unzip it. So I'm going to do like a sudo unzip. Okay, so cannot, ah, nah, 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 nah. okay, what's wrong? So uh, download it and saved. Okay, probably it's just because it was named download. Okay, okay, funny, it was named download and it was not a zip file. Kind of strange, what did I do? Uh, I did probably something wrong. Yes, I pick up the wrong name. So I'm just going to go back over here and just look at the file. Okay, I know what I did wrong is that it's normally I should just get rid of the downloads at the end. Okay, so just going to do it like this. Oops, like wget and just like this. Okay. 
and now it's uh, downloading actually the right the right file so i can technically get rid of what i had which is sudo um, download because i have no idea of what i of what i downloaded here okay so just need to wait a little bit and then i could perform the other function that i was looking for which is sudo unzip and then it's gonna be the php list okay all good okay so sudo php list and now i'm happy okay so everything is currently um, unzipped and now what i need is oops, okay i get it over here right? so now i need to enter within this given folder and here you see you have a public underscore html so you need to get within the public html and here you will see that you have a folder which is named list and this list folder you need to put it at the html level i mean at this given level so you need to do like a sudo mv list and then you move it like one level and and two level up okay you need to go over um, this one and this one okay so now if i just go like two level above so at the html level i will see that they have my lists and now i'm happy okay so this fulfill what they're explaining here okay so now it has been um up so as i say just grab a cup of coffee and okay after you have done this you need to go up here now you need to create a database using your control panel once you have uploaded the list directory which is our case go to your hosting control panel and then create a database okay so in our case we don't have a control panel at least in my case but i have my sql right so i'm just gonna do like this like i did in many other tutorials and i'm gonna give a name to a database that i'm gonna create so i'm gonna create a database and my database is gonna take this name for example okay so those are just dummy name just for local installation okay so you have an error na 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 okay which error is it no okay so i'm just gonna do it like this okay create a database yeah but everything's correct so far so what is wrong oh i see okay that's just because i had this character okay i don't know why so add one over here okay a database username so in my case i already have one his name is john and a password for your database and i already have a password so i probably don't need uh, all of this but i will probably give actually privileges to this uh, given user so in my case i have a user which is named john so I'm just going to give here the name of the database that I'm creating, which is CL and PHP list. Okay, so here currently what I'm doing is that I have already a user in my database. His name is John and John, I'm giving him all the rights to play with the given database that I created, which is this one. Okay. Um, so here they are giving you an example of how you can create your database, but you don't need that. And now you need to edit the PHP list config PHP file. So as you can see, those are always the same process. Either you are playing with a media wiki, with a WordPress or with a Metomo. It's, it's always a question of creating a database and then using uh, the credential within a PHP file. So in my case, they're asking me, okay, go to list config and config PHP and change uh, the given uh, credential over here. So I'm going to exit my SQL as I just did here. And now I need to go within a list. So in my case, it's going to be CD list and then config. And then in config, I'm going to do like a sudo nano because I want to edit the file. Nano is the text editor and config.php. Okay, so here. 
Here we are. Okay, so now it's going to ask me actually uh, all the different information that I just entered. So in my case, the database had the following name, which was CL52. So CL52. And it's PHP list. Okay. Database user. So in my case, I have one user and this user is John. Okay and the password and this is where i'm not 100 percent sure and i hope that's the one is john dewey okay and uh, normally i should be fine here just i'm gonna just change this given uh, parameter as they are explaining it uh, below they're explaining that when you change the config file you should also change also change um the test part okay so test mode in php should be this one and then you are good to go normally so let's write this out and now let's get out with ctrl x okay now save and upload so this is what i just performed and now go to your installation so in order to go to your installation you just need to go to your local host and then type lists and admin okay so this is the magic this is the magic pass so let's go over here and let's just go like this and like this okay now let's see what's gonna happen cannot connect to the database access deny please check your configuration or contact the administrator okay so that's not good at all right it means that um I probably made a mistake within the file that I created over here. So I guess that what was wrong, CL52 localhost, is uh, probably the password. So I'm just going to change this out and let's just save my file. Okay. Okay, so as you saw, I just made a mistake within the password and that's the reason why it didn't went right. Okay, database has not been initialized, so initialize the database. So please enter your name, the name of your organization and so on and so forth. Okay, so it's Ronan. The name of the organization is the Floss Marketing School and please enter your email. So it's going to be contact at Floss marketingschool.com the initial login name will be admin so um okay um, just enter the password in my case just gonna be like admin admin okay never do that of course it's just because it's on our local server but of course I have a strong password here okay Okay, so here is the good news. It's telling us, okay, the tables have been created. Okay, success, tell us about it. So that's great. And now, um, yeah, I don't want to tell to anyone, subscribe, do not subscribe. I mean, I'm fine uh, with that. So what should I do? Success, tell us about it. Okay, I don't mind. Um, don't subscribe. Okay, not subscribe. Continue with PHP list setup. So here it's telling me, okay, the database is fine. Now you need to verify the settings. You need to configure the attributes. You need to create a subscribe page. You need to add some subscriber. Maybe I can click over here. Okay, great. So uh, this is the list admin login page and correct password probably because it's as we saw it's admin over here uh, do not confuse it with the database credentials and uh, and here you are so uh, that's great as you can see this is um, let's say the ui of php list so uh, from here you can already see what your emailing and newsletter solution looks like you can already play with the different uh, subscribers and i mean you can already play with a lot of things here as we are in localhost i need to configure additional things in order to be able to send uh, some emails so i'm not going to show it within this given uh, video because this one uh, is was just about setting up uh, the ui but you get the big idea i mean this is the biggest step and once you have this one now all you need is just to make the link with your uh, email uh, provider in order uh, to be able to send uh, 
uh, your different emailing and newsletter. And that's it uh, for the video about how to install PHP list on a local server. I really hope that uh, you will be able to install it on your own as well. And that's the purpose of uh, this given uh, exercise that I'm giving you here is really try to install PHP list as we just uh, saw within uh, your own uh, local uh, server. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video. Do not hesitate uh, to make as well your own video and share them on social network. Thanks for watching.